Today is gonna be a good day, I think. Kind of a crazy day. There's supposed to be a pretty good blizzard moving in. I think we pretty well dodge it here for the most part. It's still supposed to get up to a foot, I guess. It'll be a long day feeding for Tate because we're gonna shuffle everything around. A lot of extra trips today, feeding some straw and making sure everything's got lots of bedding and is tucked away before it hits the fan tonight, I guess, or tomorrow morning, whenever it gets bad. Hopefully I remember to make some videos, but it is uh, Monday, like 8.30, 9 o'clock maybe. And this is what it is like right now. It's all melted off and pretty nice day so far. Yes, Merritt's pretty excited because today the preschoolers are coming up to kindergarten and he gets to be a big kid today. That's actually the first thing that came out of his mouth when I woke him up this morning. Tate checks at midnight and three. We went to every three hours instead of two. And then I come down at six and check. And then when I get home, I wake Merritt up for school. And the first thing he said when he woke up was, I get to be a big kid today. Strap the last bale on and hit the road. I got one load down, got some calves across the river at Frizens. Tate's gonna try to feed those cows to a little bit more protected area for this storm. I'm gonna buzz out on a four-wheeler and see if maybe I can get those last 10, 15 calves across the river. Hopefully there's a handful. Right Give me 10%, woman. I threw this rope here in a tree like <laughs> six years ago for a day just like this. I put it in that tree. The branches had grown all around it. I had to take it out one loop at a time. She is not gonna have anything to do with this calf. I'm gonna give her a little while. I'm gonna go mix this guy up a tube. And hopefully she comes back for him but I'll go get him a tube mixed up so he can get something in his belly while she decides if she's gonna be a mom or not <sighs> I didn't think this old girl was gonna have anything to do with this yeah but I mixed up a tube to give him but she's taking care of him I'm gonna give him some of his dress kind of get his body jump-started and forward I'm not gonna tube it.
guess I'm not gonna do this. Yeah, I just gave him some juice, I guess. I won't worry about tubing him. But, do you remember how I told you I lost that rope one time and I threw it in that tree? Yeah. I used it. It was all grown in. I had to take it down one coil at a time. What did you use it for? Pull that calf out because I couldn't get it by hand. He was, he's got a big old head on him. I thought for sure he was dead. His tongue was like as big as my damn fist. Yeah, I pinched his tongue and he pulled it back in. I'm like, oh, damn. My little whoopsies from the other day. Had a bearing go out on this wagon. I set a straw bale over there thinking there's no way they're going to demolish a straw bale. And that pushed that tire down so I'd be able to come with a pickup and grab it. They demolished the straw bale. Did not see that happening. There we go. That's what you want when you got a bunch of calves on one side. You want all these moms to come over and help them. There they go. Got three calves across. Come on, mamas. Take them across. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed. Four calves across, five calves. Oop, that calf don't like it though. Keep going, little buddy. Don't turn back now. Help! Oh man, that calf's going the wrong direction. Help! This camera, I'm guessing, is going to be an inconvenience at some point. I'm going to be holding this camera instead of driving this wheeler. Oh, there we go. Good girls! Good girls! Let's do this! Hey! And then there was four or five that wouldn't cross. Hey! Follow your mama! Yes! Come on, little guys, come on! Yes! Come on, buddy! Come on, buddy! You can do it! You can do it! Follow your friend! Follow your friend! Follow your friend! Or am I gonna have to carry you? Latch that bad boy back on. Hey, buddy. Just got the truck unloaded. I think the skid steer will reach to the second row of bales, all except for up on like the nose of the trailer. So I'm gonna haul the skid steer up to the diamond bar and then I'll come back and get the semi and run up there. And it'll, I'll just have to strap those bales on the front probably cause they'll fall off if there's not a bale on top of them holding them in place.
that just the best sound ever? gas now. That went well. Not actually where I planned on parking this. I'm gonna unload the skid steer. I guess I'll probably have to push this pickup out maybe. to self. The semi is not going to make it this way. Turns out it got a little warm today. But I can bring the skid steer up through my driveway to the stack yard as long as I don't get stuck up there. I'm going to park this skid steer here, shut it off. And when I get up here with the truck, I'll walk down here and grab the skid steer. Also, I'm pretty sure reverse might have just went out of this pickup. Always looking forward and stuff. It's a nice, it's a nice like concept. It's a good idea. Like the whole no rear view mirror, we're moving forward. You wouldn't believe how miserable it is not to have reverse. Before I tie into this, I would like to make a note. I'm not a truck driver nor do I claim to ever be a truck driver. And also, I've had legit truck drivers tell me to never ask them to haul here again. So, I'm gonna mount this on the back of the trailer, here somewhere, so you guys will probably get to see me wipe the cattle guard out with the front, or the cattle guard might get wiped out right here in the back. I'm not... Well, let's try that. Rubbin's racing, Harry. I'm not really sure any of that video is going to work.
got a little bumpy on this little rigmarole that I got that holds it. It's a tough son of a gun, but kind of rattled loose on me. I'm gonna mount this bad boy up here. I've got it back around a corner, and uh, I'm not gonna be able to see very good, so maybe you guys will be the first ones to see me smoke a bale processor or something. Uh -huh. Huh. I think it was safer over here. At least over here, I think it'll be less likely to fall off. And I may be able to see it when it does fall off so I don't run it over first. We'll give her hell anyway. Hopefully that turned out. Grab one last quick drink of coffee. And then they gotta go on the walk. Go on a little bit of a walkabout to get so the skids that's deep. pretty significant. The dollar dominance, pretty much at this time, this one I'll see if I can make it up the hill coming out of our driveway that's the hardest part I barely got that one on there but it's on there never even spun out like a regular old truck driver I am Tom's strutting around today.